Deep in the bowels of the University of Alberta's Biological Sciences Building is a collection of dinosaur bones unrivaled anywhere in the world, all cared for by an exceptional team of paleontologists and volunteers. One of the prized specimens in this collection is an 86 million year old pteranodon called Don Draco Kanzai, a giant pelican-like creature that once glided along the surface of the ocean hunting for fish. Now the American Museum of Natural History in New York City will include a copy of the U of A specimen in its new dinosaur exhibit. This pteranodon specimen was on display in Earth Atmospheric Sciences for the last 25 years and the American Museum saw that we had the specimen they didn't have in their collections, asked us if we could mold and cast it and send them a copy for their new exhibit. It's actually one of the best preserved intact skeletons in the world. What you're looking at is the skull here. So this is the upper part of the skull and the long beak going there and the neck into the uh, pectoral girdle of this area. Both of the upper wings, so these are the humeri here. Radius and ulna is the beginning of the arm. And then these are the wing bones going into that. So you've got an actual hand over here. And then the, the pelvis is over here and the femurs and then the feet. This is one of the, one of the feet and the toes there. And then the lower jaw for this animal drifted away. So probably floated to the bottom and then it was rotting away. So small pieces of it drifted away. So the lower jaw had obviously drifted away from the main body. The theory is this flying reptile sank to the bottom of the ocean when it died and was buried in a seabed deposit. It was eventually found by U of A paleontologist Alan Lindo in Kansas in 1974. Coy made a mold of the specimen, filling it with a resin-like material used in Hollywood to make masks. That cast is now ready to send to the American Museum, where it will be given a lifelike coat of paint for public display. <laughs>